Nuzlocking on YouTube is getting stale, and I'm part of the problem. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Paul Peas, or just P if that's too much work. I do Nuzlocks on YouTube, and I want to make better content for you guys. I started uploading videos in January, and I think I've come a long way in a lot of different ways, like my templates or my writing or even my actual skill at Nuzlocks. But I haven't evolved as a content creator. This is a clip from my first video. Where we get scouted to become a movie star in what is clearly the best part of the game, Pokestar Studios. We have to chase around Team Plasma for a second before Roxy's dad sails us to Castilia City. And this is a clip from my most recent one. Oh god. Oh god, please. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Not again. Not again. Holy sh**. I'm alive. We escaped that cult that we were almost forced into on a boat to Castilia City, home of the third gym. There's improvements. I think that starting with a teaser at the beginning is fun, and I'm more comfortable recording my voice, so I sound a little bit less like I'm being held at gunpoint. But the ideas and like the content is the exact same. And I'm not necessarily proud of what I make right now. I didn't start making videos to boost my ego or to make money. I started because I wanted to make fun videos out of my hobby that I enjoy more than anything. Like, I literally have two Pokemon tattoos. This isn't like some elaborate bit that I set up. So why am I making this video then? Shouldn't I just be happy uploading videos, building the small community that I have that I'm so grateful for? Well, I'm not happy with that, and here's why. I respect your time as a viewer, plain and simple. If any of you guys are fans of Bo Burnham, there's this bit that he says that I really like, where he says, stop sticking with artists through thick and thin. If I stop entertaining you, leave me. You wouldn't stick with your mechanic if he stopped fixing your car. And I think that in today's world, with the endless amount of content all over the place, that quote rings more true than ever. When I was rewatching that special and I heard that again, I realized that I'm part of that problem. I follow a formula that I didn't create. I'm capitalizing on the hard work of other people. And I'm not saying that I don't work hard or that I'm copying other people's content. I'm just saying that I don't do anything unique. You could watch one of my videos and just think to yourself, wow, this is an old Flygun HG video, huh? Nah, I really don't like that. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't enjoying the edit of my new video, and I just felt weird and I really couldn't understand why. But then it hit me. I want to be something different. I want to be the only place where you can find my kind of content. And right now, I'm not. I know this sounds stupid and preachy and whatever, but this is how I feel and I do have a point and I'm gonna get to it. So what's next? I don't know. Like, if I knew I would have made an entertaining video to give you guys right now instead of this one where I'm basically just an angry man yelling at a cloud. I do have a plan though. Kinda. First, I'm gonna take a break. I'm not sure how long it'll be, but at least till the end of January. I'm gonna take this time to really nail down what content that I wanna make and that I'm gonna be proud of. I have some ideas, but it's a lot of work, so it's gonna take me some time. For you guys who enjoy my videos though, thank you. You guys have no idea how much it means that people actually enjoy my stupid jokes. Thank you. The second step is to give you guys some content recommendations. I might be gone for a bit, but content never sleeps. Of course, if you want some content like mine, check out Psyduck Spice or Berry Nerd Corner. They're both small creators who make great content in a similar vein to mine. My personal favorite creator right now is Wacko. His videos aren't super frequent because he's more of a streamer than a YouTuber, but his edited videos, in my opinion at least, are the best Nuzlocke content on YouTube. And of course, go watch Drew if you want some high level ROM hack Nuzlocke. He's him, plain and simple. All the links for those are going to be in the description. Guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate the support over the last year, and I'll be back with some new content that's going to be awesome, and something that I can be more personally proud of. With that being said guys, I've been Palm and Peas, or just P for short, and I'll see you next time.